Today we're going to do an epic synth, uh, which sounds a little bit like this, I hope. Yeah, nice synth. Um, so, it's not difficult, but it's not as easy as it seems. So, but first thing, we're going to create a combinator. Rename it a big uh, container because uh, we are cool. Uh, fuck. Okay, never mind. Um, just create a thorough polysonic synthesizer. Make sure everything is initialized before you start and show programmer. Now, what we're going to need is um, two multi oscillator. Yep. And a noise oscillator. Route everything in the low pass filter here. Uh, do not change the low pass filter, we will need it. But first, um, multi oscillator 1. Uh, doesn't, do not really need some change except the detune amount that will be raised up to 36. Yeah. Uh, second multi oscillator, put the octave on 2 and change the shape of the wave on that shape. Uh, I don't know how you can call it, I think it's a kind of sine wave, I don't know. Um, and the tuner mode again on 36. For the noise oscillators, uh, octave on 3 uh, will be import very important because we're using the static noise and the density will be raised up on 64. Okay. Now the low pass filter. Mm, frequency on uh, 472 hertz, no resonance. Put it on the thick mode, envelope on uh, 72. Velocity 0, keyboard full. For the mixer. Uh, the balance on 32 and the further oscillators you will reduce it on minus 5.4 dB. We do not need the shapers here. And now let's start the filter envelope and the amp envelope. Both attack must be on zero. The decay here will be on 256 milliseconds. The sustain on minus 31.4 dB. Uh, same one for the amp envelope and the uh, release on um, 30.9 milliseconds. Uh, same one for the amp envelope. Uh, here the decay will be on 342 milliseconds, I think. Uh, 349, sorry. So there we go. Um, yeah. It's it's coming. Um, now put on the chorus. Uh, delay on 7.9 milliseconds. In feedback on two, on 28. Um, and dry weight on 10. Um, no, we're going to add some EQ. First EQ. MC equalizer. Um, Turn on the low cut. Arm run on. Um, leave it at the, leave the frequency where it is and gain 5.1 dB and a Q of uh, 3.1. Uh, add a new EQ. Turn on the arm run to and low cut. Arm run. Uh, frequency on. Um, 94.1 Hz Gain on 2.9 dB And the Q on 3.3 .3. Problem 2, uh, frequency uh, 9.170 kHz That frequency Gain minus 2.9 dB and the Q 4.1 Much, much, much better, isn't it? No, just add a vocoder for the crispiness of the sound. Um, on equalizer mode, four band and shift on minus 14. 
um, had a screen for distortion. Mode on tape, um, do not change the damage control. Uh, Param 1 uh, on 86 and Param 2 on 77. So fast and um, quite nice compression here. Uh, 77, yeah. Uh, do not touch at this. We we do not need them. No, just add a delay. DDR one delay. Uh, go to milliseconds. Um, one hundred twenty-one milliseconds would be okay. Uh, feedback on thirty-six. So a little bit down and dry and wet on eight. Yes. Aha! We're going in. And now last thing. Uh, oops, sorry, not that one. Uh, create a reverb. Arvis 7000. Uh, show programmer. Um, the decay will be on 86, so a little bit up. Uh, HF on 20, a little bit down. Uh, High AQ on minus forty eight. That's it. Uh, now change the algorithm on uh, oops on Blake. So it's I don't know it is uh, in English, but I think it just after the arena. Uh, you can reduce the attenuation on. 25, uh, 75 Hz. Okay, now the dry on wet will be on 36. And there we have it. Very nice, isn't it? Well, um, that's it for that scene. Um, please subscribe if it helps. Um, and see you later, guys. <laughs>